welcome back to my little English page. So today, despite being about a few minutes late, we are going to learn some English through songs. Now, I wanted to play little clips, but I'm a bit worried about copyrights. So we're not going to focus on actually listening. We're going to learn more vocabulary with those songs. But I've also prepared um, a little list of songs that you can use if you want to work on your listening um, as well. So hello, I see we have some people coming in. So just a reminder for everybody. Oh wow, you guys were waiting. I'm sorry, I'm a few minutes late. Hi guys. How are you? So I see Lolly's here, Khalid is here, Koke, Sergi, um, Lolly, Banam. Nice to see you guys. How are you? So as I said, today we are going to use music and songs in general to learn. So we're going to have a look at some mistakes that we find in songs. We're going to look at some vocabulary that we can learn from songs. I've chosen, I think, three titles that we are going to use to learn expressions and I've also made a little list of recommendations. Haha. <laughs> so let me just recap. Yeah, I could have just shown that. Mistakes found in songs. That is the first thing we're going to do. Then idioms and expressions and then some recommendations. So um, just a reminder for everybody who uh, might not be a regular of the lives, I go live every Thursday at 4 p.m. even though I was a few minutes late today, sorry. And I also go live every Saturday at 11 a.m. Spanish time, but Saturdays are only for listening lives. And if you don't know, I also go live on Tuesday on Facebook at 5 p.m. <laughs> I think I've said everything. All right, so yes, guys, Sheriff is back. Yay! It's been a long time. So I'm so happy to see that you guys are already, you know, commenting and going for it in the comment section. Now, before we start, I want to ask you a little bit. Do you use music to learn? Or do you only listen to music because it's, you know, you like listening to music? Or when you do listen to songs in English, do you try to actively pay attention to what they're saying? Or maybe you actually take notes of the vocabulary that you don't know? Let me know in the comment section. I'm curious um, to read what you guys do with music. Um, so, we're all good, I think. Yeah, we're excited that Sheriff is back. <laughs> You just brought your dinner. <laughs> All right, so guys, uh, again, before we start as well, I just want to remind you of something that exists, which is um, you can buy me a little coffee uh, to show me a bit of support and love and to motivate me to do even more videos, create more videos, create more content. Um, I'm even considering adding a third YouTube live every week because I particularly like doing lives and I think you guys really enjoy it as well. So um, <clears throat> so let me know if you would also be interested in that. But if you do want to support me and help me do even more lives and create more videos and more content, you can just check out Coffee. This is a website where you can just, you know, buy me a coffee. That's it. And it's super easy and I love it. So just thank you in advance, guys. Remember, whoever um, is sponsoring me through a coffee will get a shout out on Saturdays during the Saturday Live. We already have two sponsors this week. Yay! All right. So Sheriff is addicted to songs and you've been learning through imitating and writing. Very good. Very good. You like Roxette. I'm not sure about who that is, but yeah, okay. You use the subtitle on the songs, good. Lyrics, idioms, yeah. All right, awesome. So yes, guys, <clears throat> songs are really good because I think the first thing that I like about songs is when you sing, it usually minimizes your accent. Um, it just happens naturally because you're memorizing the melody and how the words are connected, how the letters work together. So you kind of naturally have a better accent when you sing than when you don't. So that's the first thing why I really like song. The second one is 
Because there's a melody to it, you are going to remember the words in the song. So if you actually study songs and, and understand what they mean, you will memorize that vocabulary a lot easier because you have that little catchy tune. Remember, for example, uh, when I was a kid and I had to learn how to multiply to memorize all of the combinations, I created a song and a lot of people do. Why do we teach the alphabet through a song? A, B, C, D, E, F, G, because it's easier to remember. So guys, this is so good for you. Use songs to memorize vocabulary. Okay. All right, so you guys seem to be hungry. There's a lot of food talking going on in the comments section today. Um, so when I listen to English music, I can't understand anything. Sorry. Lolly, I understand you because a lot of people feel that as well. It's because you need to choose the songs. Um, if I listen to some songs, for example, rap music, I don't really understand what they're saying as well. In English or in my native language. Just because it's a completely different way of speaking, of singing. Um, you know, when you rap. So if you're not used to it, you're not going to be able to, to listen to it correctly, to understand it. Um, so choose the types of songs that you go for. Uh, remember, I've made a list that I, sh I will show you at the end, guys. And um, that's a list of, of songs that are fairly easy to understand. So hopefully that should help you out, Loli. Sheriff, you're making a poster for yesterday's live? Oh, okay. Interesting. <laughs> okay, guys, so. So the cook has said, another day I was happy because of, so because of, a, of a song when you were young and you understood it. Good. Hello, Jayesh. And, okay, Sergi, what you, you said is really good as well. You can definitely listen to a song and read the lyrics at the same time. That's a really good idea. It's similar to listening to an audiobook and reading it at the same time. That way you can associate the words, how they sound, but also how they look, because you see them and you hear them at the same time. So, um, Sergi, that was really good. Really good recommendation. Okay? Uh, 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 uh. Fast English, like rap, there's a lot of words that you don't use. Yes. And, you know, in, in English, and that's why I wanted to cover that as well, um, you'll see that there are mistakes as well. So, um, either in pronunciation or in grammar itself so that it fits the melody. The mistakes I've focused on are more grammatical than, um, than you know, pronunciation, but um, that, that is also a problem that you, you do face sometimes, yeah. All right, thank you, Jayesh. <laughs> Hey, Halima, how are you? Nice to see you. Jayesh, I, I think we understood. You don't have to write it 10 times. <laughs> okay, guys, so let's get started. We're going to start with mistakes. Okay, so the first one is by the Rolling Stones. The Rolling Stones. You know the Rolling Stones. So this is actually the title of the song. I can't get no satisfaction. There's something wrong. What's the problem? Let me know in the comment section, guys. Meanwhile, I shall think, sing for you. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> All right, guys, so what is it? I can't, or well, I can't, if I wanna see, if I wanna sound American, I can't get no satisfaction. Um, if you wanna sound more British, I can't get no satisfaction. Uh, but obviously there is a mistake. All right, so for, the, for those of you guys who are new, just remember the moment you type the comment, it takes a little while for me to receive the comment. So if you've already answered, don't worry, don't worry. Um, it's coming, it's coming. I'm gonna see it in a minute, okay? Okay, Lolly, very good, very good. Double negation, double negative. Yes, Khalid, I'm very energetic today. Don't know why. <laughs> Yes, no double no, very good. Thank you, Halima. Just so you know, guys, all of these amazing improvements, that's because Halima helped me out and she told me about an amazing software. Uh, Halima, she's in the comment section, guys. Uh, Blackboard English, go check out her channel, okay? Yes, teacher, we will do it. Good. Okay. Um, 
Yes, can't and no, we just can't put those together. So the answer, can you guys correct the actual sentence? I can't get no satisfaction. What should it be? What should be? Um, so Sheriff is saying, I ain't got no satisfaction. So this is, this is grammatically incorrect, yet it is correct because people say that, but it's not exactly the same meaning. That's not quite what I'm looking for. Yes, Khalid, very good. I can't get any satisfaction. Okay, Joyesh, I'm sorry, I really appreciate your comments, but this is spamming the comment section, so can you stop that kind of comment? Otherwise, I'm going to have to block those, okay? So, thank you, I appreciate um, those lovely comments, but let's try to keep it focused on the topic, okay? Thank you. Alright, guys, so, good, do you understand? Because we have can't, can't is can and not together, right? And then we have no. Remember, in English, we don't use double negatives. So if you already have a negative, can't, you have to use any instead of no. Okay, guys? I think you guys pretty much knew about this comment, this, this, um, sorry, not this comment, this rule. So good. Uh, uh, somebody said, I can get no satisfaction. That's kind of cheating. Nah. It's better to say, I can't get any satisfaction. Okay? All right, guys, so let's move on to the next, uh, the next little up. So the song is What's Love Got To Do With It by Tina Turner. What's love got to do, got to do with it? Who needs it? <laughs> okay, so let's go. Um, ba -ba -ba. So obviously it's also the title of the, the song that has a, a mistake here. What's love got to do, got to do with it. Um, while you guys give me the correct answer in the comment section, make sure to give the lesson a big like, big love, yeah, give it some love. <laughs> Alright guys, so what's love got to do, got to do with it? What's incorrect here? What do you think? What's love got to do, got to do with it? In this song by Tina Turner. Loli? What, what do those uh, question marks mean? Are you confused? Yeah, Tina Turner, those are good songs, aren't they? Mm -hmm. Has to do. Okay, so Sherry, you've kind of half half correct you're missing something else though what's what why do we have what's what's hmm what do you think no Sergi. so you're saying what's love to get to do with it mm, no so think about it guys in general when we ask a question what auxiliary should we use in general, I know there's exception where we can use will or other, other auxiliaries, but in general, which one should we use? What's the main uh, auxiliary we should use to form questions? And that's one of the problems here. Ah, oh, did we chase Halima away? No, Halima, come back. Mm, so Nina said, I think it's what love to got to do mm, no 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 okay so you're confused gets to do no guys think about it if i say i like apple how do i form the question of i like okay good i'm seeing some of you answering that uh so sheriff said does exactly that do is the main auxiliary we should use to form questions so that's one of the main problem here so, Ingua, what love have you got to do? Mm, 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 mm. What did love get to do? So, Sergi, you're a bit closer, but you don't need to go to the past. So, let me give you the answer, guys. The answer should be, what does love have to do with it? So, the got to do, that's kind of an American structure. 
That's why I kind of switched it back to the more normal way of saying it. Not that American English is not normal, guys, okay? It is normal. All Englishes are normal. Uh, but if we want to be really correct, it should be with do to form my question. So what does love have to do with it? Okay? Exactly, Sheriff. The I Earlier I said, I like apples to form the question. We use do. So do you like apple? I still need to use my do. Okay? Alright, so I think this one confused you a lot, guys. You know what? I think that could be an, an interesting one to develop a little bit more um, in a different life. If, if you think that would be a good idea, uh, please let me know in the comments section because I do think that was a bit of a tricky point. Um, but I don't want to spend too much time on this one. So let me know and I'll go deeper um, on that subject another day. Okay, guys? Alright, so my next one... <clears throat> So do you prefer Canadian English? Uh, you know, I recently learned a bit more about Canadian spelling and I was not aware that it was really a mix of British and American English for the spelling. And I thought that was really interesting, yeah. Okay guys, so the next one, that's an easy one. You should be able to answer this very, very easily, okay? Um, Alright, so... It's the song Rich Girl by Gwen Stefani. I'm sorry, I'm a bit distracted. Jayesh, those comments are not necessary. Um, and this is spamming the, the comment section. So I'm going to try and go on YouTube and stop that because this is very distracting for everybody and specifically for me. I can't focus right now. Um, but I need to access the live differently. Let me see how I can do that. Um, so... Let me just put the the mistake here, guys. That way you have time to think about it, okay? So if I was a rich girl, have a look and correct it, okay? Uh, 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 uh. So I'll be with you in just a second, guys. Where's the chat? So, Jayesh, that's your last chance, okay? I've opened the page, now I have more access and I can control the comment section a bit more. But please stop it, okay? This is very disturbing. Okay, guys, so let's go back. This is an easy one. This is an easy one. If I was a rich girl, what's the problem here, guys? Yes, exactly. If I were a rich girl. So... In some, so some of you might have heard of something called the subjunctive because in many Latin languages we have subjunctive like in French or in Spanish. This is basically the equivalent of the subjunctive in English. Um, it's just instead of saying I was in a conditional, you have to say I were. Okay, so that's an easy one. Okay, um, yeah, I'm going to have to block Jayesh, guys. He's actually asking me to block him, so that is very weird. Okay, up. You're on a timeout! Didn't even know you could timeout someone. Okay, guys, good. Now I can focus. I'm sorry I was a bit distracted, but that was taking all of my... No, Louis, Louis I, I, I rarely block people. I don't like blocking people because um, sometimes people do things but they just don't realize it's a mistake. So I don't want to, you know, cut people out straight away. So I've actually never had to block anyone before. <laughs> okay, guys. So yes, the answer you are very right was if I were a rich girl. If I were a rich girl. Na, 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 Good, very good. So I have actually prepared a second series of mistakes because there are so many. Uh, again, guys, I've only focused on the, um, what is it called? The titles of the songs, but you can also find a lot of mistakes within songs as well, okay? All right, guys, we're having a two second stop. We're having a break because now you need to like the lesson. <laughs> I'm going to be telling you to like the lesson all the way through, guys. So just do it. Just get it over with to get it over with it means to just do it do it okay 
Good, so my next one. I did not know this song, but that is a mistake that I thought was interesting. So it's called, the song is called Hungry Eyes by Eric Carmen. I feel the magic between you and I. So, you know what? This is actually a mistake that native speakers make. I sometimes make this mistake. I hear a lot of people make this mistake. Um, but there is a mistake. Um, and focus specifically on the pronouns, guys. Look at the pronouns, okay? What's the problem? What is my problem here? Think about objects and subjects and where they should usually go. That should help you out. Awesome, guys. Thank you so much. Okay, so Sheriff is saying, and me, you and me, Ingua. Okay. Can you try and, and explain to me why? Why is it me and not I in this case, guys? Do you know? Do you have any idea? So you're all, you all know the answer, that's great. I feel the magic between you and me, you and me. So that's not a reflexive pronoun, Sheriff. A reflexive pronoun would be myself, yourself, himself, herself. This, guys, so the, so I is a subject pronoun because you say I am Marine. I goes, it replaces the subject. Me is an object pronoun okay so it replaces an object in this case as you can see you and me slash i is not before the verb it's not starting the sentence so it cannot be a subject pronoun okay so exactly i feel the magic between you and me very good exactly Okay, guys, fantastic. You did very well on this one. Good job. But you hear so many people make this particular mistake. It's, it's a common mistake. Um, but keep in mind that I only goes before a verb. Okay? Before a verb. The same, uh, very often you'll see people say, Pepe and me went to the cinema. It's before the verb. It, it confuses you because you have Pepe and someone. But if it's before the verb, it should be Pepe and I went to the cinema. Okay? Yeah, the object is the receiver, the, the, the receiver of the action. Okay, good guys. All right, my next one. What goes around by Justin Timberlake. This one is not the, the title. In his sentence, he said, When you cheated, girl, my heart bleeded, girl. When you cheated girl, my heart bleeded girl. So here, guys, this is definitely one of those examples of um, intentional mistakes where the artist knows it's a mistake, but it sounds best. As if you look at it, cheated girl, bleeded girl, it rhymes, it sounds similar. So this is an intentional mistake made by the artist, okay? But what is the mistake? Do you know? I think you know. I think you know that's an easy one. You and I must make a pact. Okay, good. That's a good example. Very good. Fantastic. So what's my mistake here, guys? Yeah, I have my fan again. Because it's getting hot. So, when you cheated, girl, my heart, my heart, Bleeded girl. What goes around, goes around, come around, and another back around. I'm just singing while I wait for your comments, guys, okay? <laughs> ah, okay, so that's an interesting one, Loli. You said cheated on. So you cheat on someone, but you can cheat someone. Uh, <clears throat> wait, wait, or you cheat in general. Here's just when you cheated, comma, girl. <clears throat> If I was saying, when you cheated, Lolly, okay, I'm not saying that I cheated on. When you cheat on someone, uh, okay, remember it's when you have a sexual relationship outside of the relationship you're already in. Uh, but when you cheat in general, for example, you're taking an exam and you keep, you know, eyeing your neighbor's 
copy uh, paper, uh, that's to cheat. Okay, so I, I can understand the mistake here. Uh, 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 so I think uh, Sherry uh, bleeds, not bleeds, not bleeds. We still need a past, we still need a past. Cheating, bleeding, no. When you not cheat on, when I cheat a girl, no. You cheat on a girl. Oh yeah, Khalid, I forgot. Your daily intake of air. <laughs> Ooh, guys, what is the past of bleed? What is the past of bleed? That should help you out. Okay, maybe it's one of those that has three different forms, maybe? Not sure. Hmm. What do you think? So, I think, yes, Sergi, well done. You've got it. It's bled. Bled. This is an irregular verb. Bleed, bled, bled. Okay? Um, the other day I cut myself and I bled all over the sofa. I did not. I did not bleed. Okay? But it is bled. Bleed, bled, bled. Very good. Very good, guys. Well done. Okay? So that means you guys need to review your irregular verbs a little bit. Should I do an irregular verb quiz one day? I think that's a good idea. I'm, I think I'm going to do that one day. I like it. I'm going to do that. <laughs> uh, yes, bled. Very good. And so Sheriff, no, it's just I, I try not to put the AC on as much as possible because one, it's expensive. And two, it kind of makes me sick if I use it too much. So yeah. But good, Sherry said bled, Cook as well, Nina as well. Okay, well done, guys. So let's move on to our next one. And this time we've got Mrs. Gaga, Lady Gaga from Bad Romance. You and me could write a bad romance. Na 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 na. I don't wanna be free. <laughs> You're getting a show at the same time today, guys. <laughs> okay, so I'm seeing a lot of yes for irregular verbs. Okay, maybe I'll do a nice irregular verb live quiz somehow. That sounds good. Okay, so you and me could write a bad roman romance. So this mistake, guys, is pretty much the opposite of the one we have at the top. So what's the problem here? Good job, Loli. Good job, Sergi. Very good, everyone. Well done. Exactly. We also have a problem with our pronouns. Remember I said if your pronoun is before a verb, it should be I because you need a subject pronoun. Good. So it is you and I could write a bad romance. You and I could write a bad romance. Very good, guys. Fantastic. Well done. So we're done with mistakes. Now I think I have three titles that I have chosen from three different songs. And each title has some kind of expression in it. And I thought those were fairly interesting. You might be familiar with some of them, though. Let's see. So the first one is Water Under the Bridge by Adele. Water Under the Bridge by Adele. So I'm going to tell you what it means. I'm going to show you an example, but I want you guys to write your own example with your own words, okay? Remember, when you, you actually write in the comment section, this is practice for you. So make sure you pay attention to your spelling, to punctuation, to capitals and everything. Okay, guys? Remember, this is practice. So. The first one, water under the bridge, it means that it's something in the past. It's something that can't be changed. And most of the time, it's also something that has been kind of forgotten, forgiven. Okay? So my example that I have chosen is... Oh, it's right in my face. <laughs> we had our disagreements, but that's water under the bridge now. Okay? So let's say, for example, um, I had a friend and... We argued when we were in a school because, um, I don't know, I don't know why we would argue, but we argued at some point. And now 10 years have passed and we meet again 
And we just say, don't worry. I mean, that's nothing. That's just water under the bridge. It's, I've forgotten it. I've forgiven that. Okay, it's, it's nothing. Don't worry. So I'm just going to remove my example, guys, because it's right in my face, okay? So what do you think? Okay, so Sharif has one. She hurt me a lot. It's water under the bridge, though. I forgot about her. Okay. Okay. Um, Sheriff, remember, spelling, punctuation. It's, and we're not going to say it's a water. We just say it's water. But your it's, make sure to put the apostrophe I-T apostrophe S, okay? It's water under the bridge, though. Good job. Well done. Any more examples, guys? Let's go give me examples. All right, so Khalil says, he was relieved his time in jail was over and regarded it as water under the bridge. Good, oh, oh well done, well done. Okay, Khalid loved this expression. It's like to have an old problem with someone, uh, then, yeah, you kind of clear the air. When it's water under the bridge, it doesn't necessarily mean, means that it's, water under that it's it's you've cleared the situation it just means that it's so old that it's, it's, it's just don't you don't even bother about it it's it's forgotten no worries it's forgotten but it's similar it's similar okay we had elections recently but that's water under the bridge um you wouldn't tell us about the funniest argument you had the funniest argument i've had hmm I don't think arguments are often very funny, though. Uh, I can't think of one right now, Sherry. <laughs> you don't bear a grudge against. That's a great expression, Lolly. Yes, to bear a grudge against. Well done. Nina, we were in love, but that's... Okay, so be careful if you want to say... Nina, I would say, but that is water under the bridge now. I would use a present on the other half. Because you're basically saying that now it doesn't matter anymore. So that's why it is water under the bridge. Okay? Yeah, just let it go. Let it go. I'm in the mood for singing today, guys. <laughs> All right, so I'm seeing some more comments here. Our national team has had a lot of troubles at the World Cup. It's water under the bridge now. Let's prepare, yes, for the next one. Good job, that's good. Perfect example. Lovely. So let's move on to our next expression. Uh, opla. Hit the road, Jack. Hit the road, Jack. And don't you come back no more, no more, no more, no more. Hit the road, Jack. Don't you come back no more. Okay, so it means to leave or to start a journey. Now, in this song in particular, and that's one of the other meaning this expression has, it, you can also use it to tell someone to go. Okay, so hit the, hit the road, come on, go, hit the road. Okay, that's another meaning that it has, to hit the road. Okay, so I see a few more um a few more comments from the previous expression i made some mistake but so be careful ingwa you should say i made some mistake but it it is water under the bridge now okay in in here guys in the first right here this is the title of the song but you have if you want to use the expression you have to say that it is water under the bridge okay uh, thank you guys thank you yeah I like singing a lot <laughs> so come on guys give me some examples here let's say you're I don't know I'm mad at my boyfriend because he didn't bring he didn't buy milk I'm gonna say come on get out go buy some milk hit the road no I don't say that don't worry but come on guys give me some examples with hit the road and by the way, do you like this this song? I really like this song. It's a cool song. So I hit the road when I decided to relax. Good. You you relax. You don't have a relax. You relax. Good example, Sergi. Well done. Good. Okay.
I'm confused by your message here, Sherry. If I got the money and the people are so experienced. Oh, let's hit the road because you wrote let's shit the road. That's why your, your message was actually blocked. I had to I had to unblock it. Let's hit the road. Yeah, let not shit the road. <laughs> uh, hit the road. It's a slang expression, not an idiom. Yeah, true. But I mean, does it matter really? As long as you know what it is. That's what matters. Uh, what else do we have? It's scorching hot here. Let's hit the road. Good. Well, I got in my car. My son's in the in the in the back seat. I said, "Hit the road, Dad." Good one. So, um, I see somebody just got here, guys. You will see that the meaning is just underneath to start or leave, or to leave or start a journey. And I said this for my example, which is, I'd love to stay longer, but it's it's really time to hit the road. It's time to go. Okay. Uh, hit the road with the news. Hello, Abdel Monaim. Nice to meet you. It's okay, Sheriff. Just that's why I keep saying be careful with your typing. Okay, good. So I'm going to remove the example again because it's right in my face and show you the next one. Ah, that's a good one, Lolly. Chop, chop. Hit the road, guys. Chop, chop. That means hurry. Chop, chop. Good one. Very good one. Okay. <clears throat> The next one, you know this one, but I had to put it because it's a cool one. Poker Face by Lady Gaga. Pop, 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 poker face. No, 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 no. <laughs> I'm sick and tired of this place. Let's hit the road. Very good example. Very good. So Poker Face, I'm sure you understand what it means, okay? So when someone's face does not show what they're thinking or their feelings and that obviously comes from poker when people play poker they have to have a very blank expression show no emotions because people could uh, guess some of their moves or what cards they have from the expression that they're showing so you have to have a poker fight a poker face blank no expression showing okay all right so There's a few more ex examples. Nina said, when my husband stayed home, I hit the road. I hit the road to shopping. I I, I hit the road. Mm, that one sounds a bit strange, Nina. I, I, I think I would just say I went shopping for this one. Yeah. Hit the road. We're heading to the beach. Okay. Uh... He said it with a poker face. Great example, Sergi. So my example here is, he's got his poker face on. He's got his poker face on. I can't trust the new interim. He's got a poker face. In business, a poker face can be very useful. Yes, definitely, definitely. And in many more things than just business. Um, I tend to show my emotions on my face too much, so when I'm annoyed or upset or, you know, you can see my emotions and sometimes it would be nice to be able to hide them. So definitely a poker face can be very, very useful uh, in many situations. Definitely. Okay, guys, so let's see if you have a few more examples and then I'm going to make some recommendations, um, some songs that I like. And I will also ask you about your own recommendations. So while I see the last few comments coming, um, I just want to thank you guys. I've, I have noticed we have a few more students every time on the lives and that's really exciting. So I just really want to thank you all uh, for coming every week and, and for the new ones, of, of, of course, that are coming as well. Um, thank you. Okay, emotionless, definitely, definitely. You wear, yeah, I wear my heart on my sleeves. Yes, definitely. Very expressive. <laughs> okay, good, guys. So, should we move on to the list of recommendations? Ooh, Chef, yes. Politicians always show their poker face. They always have a poker face on. Absolutely. Definitely. Agreed. 
Okay guys, so we're going to move on to the next category, which is just a few recommendations. Some songs that I like, and I'm also going to tell you why I think they're good. Now, um, I've mostly focused on songs that are a bit slower, uh, because, you know, you find a song and you'll notice straight away that it's, you know, it has a fast pace. So, um, I wanted to focus on songs that are a little bit slower, maybe easier to understand. Um, so it might be a bit more appropriate for lower and intermediate levels. If you are, if you are at an advanced level, um, I would probably recommend listening to things like rock and rap because they sing very fast or, you know, they have a different type of uh, vocabulary as well sometimes. So um, definitely, if you're advanced, go for those two styles. I would recommend those two genres. Um, mm -mm -mm. Usually when I don't know someone, I wear my poker face. Yes, good. Maureen, I want to ask you... Yes, Nina, I have seen your email. I just haven't had a chance to reply yet, but don't worry, I will get back to you, okay? All right, so I think poker is more accurate, Sergi. Oh, yeah, sorry. I read, I read, I read, um, fake faces or poker face. Fake face is not really an expression, but yeah, they're definitely putting on a persona. Yes, but I think any kind of public figure does have that a little bit, I think. Okay, guys, so I'm going to start telling you some of my recommendations. Please feel free to write them in the comment section, your own, write your own recommendations and make sure to say also why you recommend that particular song in English. Of course, we're all in English right now. <clears throat> so the first one I like is this one. Every breath you take by the police is sting singing. Now this one I really like because the vocabulary is not that difficult but also because the singer Sting sings slow. So it's easy to follow along, okay? And like I said, the vocabulary is not that challenging in this one. Um, and, you know, the police in general, they have quite a few good songs. So check them out in general. Good. Okay, so Ingwa is saying, I recommend Taylor Swift. Make sure to say why you recommend Taylor Swift, okay? For everybody to see how they could benefit from listening to Taylor Swift. I like Taylor Swift too. <laughs> okay. Then I have chosen the next one, which is the Lazy Song by Bruno Mars. Today I swear I... No, I messed up the lyrics. Today I, I don't wanna... I... Very bad one. I don't know the lyrics, so forgive me about that. <laughs> but it is a great song for daily routine vocabulary. I just want to lay in my bed. Uh, what else does it say? Don't feel like picking up my phone. So it's a lot of easy vocabulary. So it's a great way to review it as well or even learn it, okay? So this one, and it's just a cool song. And we like Bruno Mars. We like Bruno. He's a cool dude. Yes. Okay, my next one. I will look at all of your recommendations in a minute, guys. I'm just going to go through mine first so it's not interrupted too much, okay? But please... Go on, write your comments, guys. <clears throat> the next one that I chose is called by Maroon 5. Um, I like Maroon 5. He's pretty good looking, isn't it? <laughs> the main singer. But that's not the point here. Um, in this song, he repeats the same thing a lot over and over again. So this is a really good song to use to memorize the vocabulary, the words that he uses, okay? So this is a cool one. And again, they have many, many songs. Um, I, hesitate with, I hesitated with Girls Like You as well. That's another song with a lot of repetition. Um, but any song, guys, that repeats itself a lot, for example, the melody, the chorus is repeated a lot, um, those are great to memorize vocabulary. I'm sorry, I'm going to have to be cut for the rest of the this slide. <laughs> okay, the next one is, yeah, Ed Sheeran. I see that Sheriff recommended Ed Sheeran as well. Uh, Shape of You, just because it's good for, you know, a bit of British accent. Um, and the songs are quite cool. They're very catchy. They're catchy tunes. 
Um, catchy means that you listen to it once and it kind of gets stuck in your head. Let me write that word in the comment section. A catchy song. Okay, you listen to it and boom, it's in your head. It's very catchy. It catches your attention straight away. Um, again, I've chosen one shape of you. There's many more. Um, but in general, Ed Sheeran is fairly easy to understand. Um, it's all... The one thing is it kind of is always the same style, so you might get bored of it after a while, but it's really good to listen um, to that accent and being able to kind of repeat and reproduce those sounds as well. Now this one. Okay, so the reason when you read who bastank you have no clue what song I'm talking about. Uh, but when you actually listen to the song, you'll be, oh yeah, I know this song. I know this song. So try it out. Listen to this one, guys. The reason um, it will ring a bell. Now this one again, it's fairly slow. It has fairly easy vocabulary. Uh, again, a catchy song. So just a cool little song that I wanted to recommend. And then Jolene by Miley Cyrus. Now the original version is by Dolly Parton. Uh, but if I remember correctly, she is a proper country singer, so it's a bit of a different style. You might be more likely to like the version by Miley Cyrus. Uh, now, this one is really good with descriptions. They describe uh, Jolene in the song, and um, so that, that's a great way to catch a little bit of descriptive vocabulary in there. Okay, guys, so I'm going to have a look a little bit at some of your recommendation, recommendations. So we have some Ed Sheeran, listen to the Smiths, there's a light that never goes out, it's a good one, okay, thank you. Uh, what else do we have, Katy Perry, Selena Gomez, Rag and Bone Man, his song Human. I don't know this one Lolly, but thanks for sharing, you seem excited about it, so it must be a good one. Should I just move a bit more to the side? <sighs> okay. Uh, that's how we do by Katy Perry. Yeah, that's of American brands. Yeah, okay, good. You have a lot of American vocabulary in there. Uh, Khalid is saying, Marine, you have to sing at the end for a while. Nope. <laughs> I'll be too embarrassed. This the life. I'm not familiar with this song, but okay, it could be a good one. The Backstreet Boys for relation for lyrics on relationships. You know what? That's a really good point. It's yeah, it's, it's kind of cheesy a little bit now when you listen to it, but definitely you'll find a lot of romantic oh girl vocabulary. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so Anna Rita is saying, Oh, all of you but John Legend Legend. I like this song as well. Mm mm. Full again, Westline, Ellie, Golden, like, uh, love me like you do, okay, easy vocabulary, that's what Nina's recommending. My baby shut me down. <clears throat> yeah, Descent K, it was a uh, love me like you do, absolutely. Okay, so catch is the right word. Adele, Adele, yes, for British English, absolutely. Um, I just feel that if you like to sing along as well it's a little bit more difficult to sing along Adele because you know it's Adele <laughs> but yeah definitely absolutely my baby shut me down Shakira okay oh the song in Zootopia all right the Smith okay so we've had several recommendations of that as well Okay, guys, good. So make sure that you check the comment section, everybody. Make a little list of those songs and listen to them, okay? All right. Now, guys, um, I wanted to create something. I didn't have time before. Um, I, well, I started it, but I haven't finished it. So uh, within half an hour after the live is over, I am going to... Um, so basically, one of those songs... I'm not telling you which one. It's a surprise. I've chosen one of these one two three four five six songs and i've actually created a little worksheet for you with a fill in the blank activity and another activity um but i haven't had time to finish it yet so in about half an hour roughly i think i'll have enough time to finish that i will 
put the link to that document in the comment section and in the description so you'll be able to just click and download. Uh, I'm sorry I wasn't able to finish it before the live but if you're watching the live and it's past let's say five or six o'clock then you are good. Uh, it will be up and running you'll be able to download it no problem. Okay guys? Um, so that's about it for today. I'm not going to sing Khalid. Ha ha ha. No, no, no. <laughs> uh, but, um, um, maybe I can do something with singing involved. It's just you have to be careful a little bit with copyright issues and things as well. Um, I think if it's just a bit of singing, it's fine. But maybe I can find another lesson or involve some kind of singing for another lesson. Okay? All right. So that's it for today, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Once again, I just want to let you know that you could show me some love and appreciation and support and motivate me with just a cup of coffee. And that is at www.coffee.com. With just a coffee, you can give me all the energy and motivation necessary to create even more content every day. <laughs> Should I just record that and play it every time? <laughs> Uh, now, so just to remind you as well, the next live will be next Saturday because it is the Saturday live. Uh, we are going to do listening again and we're going to use a fable for that. It's going to be the same format as, um, as last week because this is going to be a set format at least for a little while until we get bored and we want something else. Now, I have, I have recorded, uh, well, my father-in-law has recorded one of the uh, two new fables, uh, but just so you know, guys, he has a Scottish accent and he's got a thick Scottish accent. So it's not going to be for this week. I'm giving you a bit of time to get used, like prepare yourself. But the following week, we will have a listening clip with a Scottish accent. And that boy is going to be difficult, very difficult. But we have to do it. Okay, guys? So, ah, uh, no, 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 I see so many of you are insisting on singing. Maybe if you keep asking, I'll do that next time. We'll see. <laughs> but now I need to go finish that worksheet, work, worksheet, not worksheet, worksheet and set it up. And then I have a class later. So, um, so not for today, guys. Okay. All right, guys, thank you so much for joining. Again, I really appreciate how, you know, motivated and engaging you are how much you communicate in the comment section and how willing you are to learn and to participate again remember the energy you put in the comment section i get it all and that's what allows me to give you so much back as well so thank you so much for watching uh have a lovely day and see you in two days for a listening live take care everyone mwah, mwah, mwah. i love you all and see you soon Bye-bye.